27 Ozempic meal plan ideas and 27 Manjaro meal ideas for you. If you're looking for meal planning, I got you covered. I've got a ton of ideas for you guys today. Let's go ahead and dive in. I'm Elizabeth Countess of Shopping. I've lost 57 pounds so far from my Manjaro weight loss and I have been testing a ton of different, I'm on the set of, by the way, from live streaming, I've been testing in my own kitchen um, a ton of different meal plan ideas for you. So feel free to take these ideas and then put them in the comments what you're going to implement because watching something is one thing but taking it and applying it into your GLP-1 journey if you're doing a Wegovy weight loss or a semi-glutide weight loss I want to hear in the comments what you're going to take from this video to use so stay till the end so you can see all 27 ideas first up how I have had the best success in literally I forget how many weeks it is 25 weeks the 57 pounds something in 26 some you can see in my past Manjaro weight loss playlist what I would recommend is finding things you love and enjoy because you're gonna need a lot smaller portion of those and for me it's protein plus vegetables so a meat and a vegetable and sometimes I'll add in things like a quinoa or like some other types of smaller amounts of you guys know I'm low carb um, I have not completely cut out grains like sometimes I'll have oatmeal and things like that completely um, and I've been incorporating those back into my Manjaro weight loss journey and have been really loving it um, I don't have white rice I don't have like white sugary things like that typically um so let's dive in meatballs with vegetables i love this you can use a and i'll link down below the vegetable spiral maker if you want to use those or you can just chop them honestly usually i just chop them i chop them throw them into a big old wok and um have meatballs with those we do a meal delivery service which i'll link down in the description link below that they're the best meatballs they make them with the best spices but you can look on pinterest too if you look at countess of shopping pinterest i have a ton of ozempic resources for you manjaro resources tara's appetite so number one meatballs and vegetables number two for your meal planning is going to be a Peruvian chicken or a rotisserie chicken. If you're at the grocery store and you see those rotisserie chickens, snag one. Whenever I'm at Costco, snag one. And then I can pair that with steamed vegetables, steamed green beans. Right here in Virginia right now, there is a ton of fresh vegetables. So I will snag that rotisserie chicken or I love Peruvian chicken. If you've not had Peruvian chicken, you need to find one in your area. If you uh, want to try something that has way more spices, those spices can have things that can be inflammatory in them because there's spices on there. But it is the most mouth-watering chicken, in my opinion, you will ever taste. <laughs> I love Peruvian chicken. That is usually on my meal plan at least twice a week. So that's an idea. You may be looking at this video like, okay, Elizabeth, what are the portion sizes? How I get those are from my Weight Watchers. I have, I've bashed Weight Watchers literally for decades, not decades, but for years here on YouTube. And I have to rescind that because I'm back on Weight Watchers. I will link down below. They actually have a promo going right now for a discounted Weight Watchers membership. And I use it simply on my phone for the fact of, okay, how much portion sizes with my meal plan should I do? So Peruvian chicken with vegetables. And usually I'll just get a house salad if I'm ordering it like on DoorDash or Uber Eats or things like that. If I'm getting from the grocery store that rotisserie chicken, then I'll just throw in whatever vegetables we happen to have from Costco or from a local farm here in Virginia that we go to. Number three, uh, for my Ozempic meal plan ideas and we go v meal plan ideas if you're doing we go v weight loss or semi-glutide or whatever, um, is um, tacos. I love tacos. We have Mexican Monday in our household because our schedules don't work for Taco Tuesday. We are obsessed and we are die hard, ride or die. My count and um, the Duke and I are always down for Mexican Monday. So we love us some tacos because you can use in there leftover chicken and use that leftover rotisserie chicken. <laughs> um, no, but you can use chicken, beef, uh, turkey, like ground turkey. You can use so many different kinds of proteins. And again, for me, my Manjaro weight loss of having this big success has been protein focus with vegetable focus. Protein, vegetable, protein, but So that's literally how I do my meal plans. It's carving it out with that structure in mind with it. Okay, so next up, so how we'll have tacos. And in those tacos, I'll shove a whole bunch of lettuce, vegetables, like fajita vegetables, like chipotle. You know how they make at the restaurant chipotle or the takeout? Um, fajita vegetables, I'll shove those in there. They're so good. So it's an extra way. And I'll even put in there beans because they're good for your heart. And they also might make you toot. So be mindful. <laughs> but you can put in there if you have like cans, of, if you're making it at home, cans of beans, chickpeas, um, pinto beans, kidney beans, black beans, refried beans. I feel like I sound like Forrest Gump. <laughs> Shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> Um, number three is um, I put chicken nuggets or, to make a Cobb salad. I there is it's called 
good, um, now I'm forgetting the brand name. It's like Good Life or Good Something is in the title of the brand. You can get them at Costco, but you can find them at any grocery store. They're like frozen meats, but they don't have superfluous ingredients added. So I like buying them. And so they have chicken nuggets at Costco right now. You know how Costco rotates. And so I'll put those in the oven and I'll have chicken nuggets and I'll chop, 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 put that on my um, Cobb salad. And in the Cobb salad, I'll put, usually, honestly, I'll get one from like a grocery store or a restaurant or things like that. And then I'll throw the chicken on because then I can add in the extra protein with it too. And then use it with a delicious dressing of my choice. But I like to put on the arm a ton of vegetables like cucumber, red pepper, um, celery, like into little, little bits, red onion, sprouts, um, carrots. Like you can throw a ton of, and you can throw a ton of like, like leftover sink, <laughs> leftover in your refrigerator. That's what I was trying to say. Leftover in your refrigerator food into a cob salad. So it's like a good dumping ground. You got a little extra quinoa. You got a little bit of extra carrots. You got a little, like a little bit of extra of these like things. Throw it in your cob salad. It's a great way to clean out your refrigerator. Number five, meatloaf and green beans. We use that meal delivery service I was telling you about. I will link it down below. They have a free discount going on for a bunch of like a discount going on. I, I'm, this video is not sponsored by them. I just, I buy my own stuff and I love it. We get it two times a week, but they have a meatloaf that's really nice, but you can get a meatloaf recipe off Pinterest. But meatloaf and green beans, or you could do it meatloaf and a salad, or you could do meatloaf, like, so you get it, the protein with the vegetable. I love doing that. And so we like green beans. That is our like, plus they're here in Virginia. I'm going to a local farm to go pick up a big old thing of green beans to go do. Number six, sandwiches. That was literally our dinner last night. You can go to, we love Jersey Mike's because it delivers here in rural Virginia with Uber Eats and it's really easy to get Jersey Mike's. We can just do sandwiches. Um, I like Jersey Mike stuff. That's really good. And so it has the protein and then I can get the veggies. You can do a bowl with them or you can do, excuse me, with bread. Sometimes I'll do the bowl. Sometimes I won't. Just kind of depends on how my body feels. And again, it depends on what day with my Manjaro shot, my Wegovi, if you're doing Wegovi or semi-glutide or Ozempic or Terazepatide, what day your shot day was versus what day you're on because we know day six and seven are half life doses and so i'm gonna be hungrier on those days right for me i am i'll use my i statements because i'm not a doctor nor is this any medical advice but having those half life doses on there so this is really really helpful and um to be able to know like okay that also dictates my meal plan of where i am on the shot because i'm gonna need more food <laughs> on the first day two three days usually definitely day two i do not really eat very much it's something very small and simple and if i'm going to have something very small and simple it's going to be protein and vegetable focused and sometimes i don't eat on those days i will just have literally my electrolytes i will link those down below i am obsessed with them they're delicious they're easy and it has in there the magnesium, potassium, and sodium. The potassium cancels out the sodium if you're worried about higher blood pressure. Again, I'm not a doctor, but that does help to cancel those. Like if you're worried about, oh, I'm taking the sodium, it's gonna with my high blood pressure, it cancels the potassium, cancels that out. Like that's what, so again, not medical advice, just my experience um, and from their research. Number seven, fish with zucchini. You can get some delicious, Costco has right now so much good fish. If you like fresh fish or frozen, frozen fish, <laughs> Trader Joe's has amazing frozen fish too. I like, but you can get that anywhere. Uh, and depending on where you live in the country, I cannot eat any more salmon or tilapia. I have exhausted those fishes, fish, fishes. So I have to get other fish source, like something else, something flaky, like a tuna or um, a mahi mahi or something else. Um, that's an option plus sauteed zucchini. I love zucchini. There's tons of it right now. It's garden season. So you probably can get it for really cheap or get it from a farmer's market for really cheap. And it's an easy way just to put some seasoning on there, put a little bit of delicious olive oil, uh, cut it in coins or cut it in strips or cut it in like little cubes. It's really, really easy to do um, in advance. Okay, next one, number eight one of my favorites <laughs> seafood it's steamed shrimp with broccoli i love steamed broccoli so you can just steam everything um you could do it with steamed corn too and make it like a bowl um that is an option if you want i tend to not eat too much corn i do like broccoli a lot and i like the nutritional value of it again depending on what day i am on my shot day being nutrient focused is my focus and so uh that is a great choice that i love by the way i didn't say at the beginning i do have a free manjaro 
weight loss success checklist. It's down below in the, the um, description and a free Manjaro weight loss success checklist. That is also down in the description link below too. Check those out. Okay, we've got up next uh, ribeye with green beans, but I like to do garlic green beans. There's a delicious, you can get it on Pinterest. It's an easy recipe to make green beans. You can make it with a balsamic vinegar, which is how we usually make, or garlic type one. Those two are really good and easy to do. And then with like a ribeye steak. If you don't like ribeye, then get like a New York strip or get a sirloin or a skirt steak or whatever. I like doing that. Um, number 10 is honey baked ham and broccoli. It does have a lot of sugar if you order from like the company honey baked ham. It has a lot of sugar. Full, full, full stop. So maybe you don't want that much sugar, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, I just want a ham or the honey baked turkey. Um, and I, we will have that with um, like broccoli. But for this one, I usually don't have um, steamed broccoli. I'll just have like regular straight up broccoli. You could even make it in a broccoli salad, like with bacon and mayonnaise and stuff like that. But usually I'll just have it with some um, ranch dressing. <laughs> simple. It's easy. Here you go. Number 11 in your meal planning ideas is going to be Indian food. I love Indian food. Oh my goodness. I love Indian food because you can do it with chicken. You can do it with lamb. I'm not a big lamb eater, but that is an, an option for you. Um, chickpeas. You can have a lot of different options on there where it's protein and then vegetable based. You don't have to have it with the rice, although the, the rice, oh my goodness, it melts my mind. It's so good. Um, but you can get that with vegetables if you wanted to. Um, number 12 is sushi. We just went to, uh, we have a local sushi here. I live in rural Virginia. So finding good sushi, literally like, I've tested a bunch of places where I'm like, am I going to get food poisoning? The one that we go to is only open like two days a week, but they have exquisite fish. And so I will get that with, is it the sashimi or the, um, the nigri is where it's just the protein. It's not protein and rice. Usually I'll get several portions of those. And then sometimes I'll get like a roll that does have the sushi rice on it, but I will eat first intentionally. Is it sashimi that doesn't tell me in the comments? I forget. I always get it confused. Or if it's the nigri where it's, it doesn't have rice. I'll do that first and then I'll get a roll. So then I'm not getting like five rolls with rice. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, and by that point, honey, my stomach is so small. Now I get too full with that. Tip number 13 is turkey burgers with carrots. I'll do steamed carrots. I like, I like steamed carrots. <laughs> my husband's like, you were so wacky. I'm like, it tastes good to me. I don't know why I like steamed carrots, but you could do that. Or you could just do turkey burgers with non-steamed carrot and dip them in no dip or dip them in like ranch dressing or a French onion dip, like keeping it super simple. It's summer, it's hot. You can go out with a plate outside and have it really, really easily. Tip number 14 is burritos. I was talking about tacos earlier. The next night you can just make them burritos or you can make them like roll them and then make them like enchilada type things. But burritos are easy. We do that at least once a week. Either I will make them or we'll order them. I will get from Costco has low carb tortillas. I like those personally, personal preference. Excuse me. There's also almond flour tortillas. Sometimes I'll have regular tortillas, but I do feel the spike in my insulin. So I don't choose to like, I choose to get other options besides that, but that is a nice one to have. Um, number uh, 15, crock pot veggie soup. So that being mindful of the protein with that, having crock pot veggie soup, you can just dump a bunch of stuff in there. You could even throw in some um, turkey sausage in there if you wanted to, some chicken leftover, if you have that rotisserie chicken leftovers in that vegetable soup. Um, but I like making the vegetable soup base and then you can easily just add proteins into it or with it separately. So if I have leftovers, that's a nice one to add as an accoutrement on there uh, with it. Number 16, egg casserole. A casserole is so simple, like it's cheap too. That's an easy one to do. And you can use your amazing, I talked about uh, the Corningware cookware. I'll link that down below. I like their casserole dishes. Um, number 17 is chicken salad. You can use that with your leftover um, rotisserie chicken or Peruvian chicken and make chicken salad. Just mix it with some mayonnaise and some celery, done. And you can have it with a side of like healthy vegetables or things like that, or even beans. I've gotten into beans because they're inexpensive. They are so filling. They're so filling, but keep them away from the count. Just kidding. No, not really. <laughs> um, number 18 is, um, uh, I can't read my handwriting. It says chicken sandwich. Oh, like if you're doing like a fried chicken sandwich, but you can make the fried chicken sandwich at home where you do an egg wash with some um, like pork panko or other panko on it and make at home like chicken cutlets with it. It's an easy thing to do and you can make it where it's not fat laden, like, like, 
unhealthy. You can make it a healthful option, but chicken sandwiches, and again, Pinterest has a ton, and Countess of Shopping, Pinterest, you can search. I got a ton of stuff there too. Number 19 is beans and rice. That's a great option, but if you don't want to do like rice rice, you could do it with beans and vegetables, um, beans and quinoa. You don't have to, and I tend not to eat that much rice um, just because it doesn't settle. It's My body does not like that, um, but if your body does, that could be an option for you. Number 20 are spring rolls. I just saw a TikTok video on it, and I think the gal's name is Cassie. I want to give her credit. She's an amazing um, Asian um, chef. I don't know if she's officially a trained chef, but she seems like one to me. And Cassie had recommended spring rolls of where you put shrimp in there with fresh vegetables and avocado with the rice paper. I am going to make those. And um, you don't, because it's the rice paper, you just use the water to seal it. And then you can make it with a peanut dressing sauce with like peanuts, hoisin, and rice vinegar. I think I'm going to make that later today. Like I am all about that because it was fresh and she was saying because it's summer right now, you can put so much fresh veg sprouts and lettuce and avocado and um, thin shoestring carrots and the shrimp in there. Uh, that sounded amazing to me. So I was all about that. Number 21 was um, we talked earlier about um, the egg casserole, but you can make omelets. That's another omelets for dinner. Um, I like getting my seven-year-old involved in that and chopping, um, helping teaching him knife skills with a watchful eye over. Um, that's been really, really cool. Number 22 is scrambled eggs and a protein. So if you want to do like scrambled eggs with bacon or scrambled eggs with turkey sausage or scrambled eggs with vegetables or scrambled eggs with feta, like there's a lot of things you can do with that. And it's an inexpensive option. 23, Greek food. I love Greek food. So you could do a hummus, chickpeas. Um, if you like lamb, I'm not a, I usually don't eat lamb, but if you wanted to, that's an option. Feta. I'll usually get a Greek salad with olives on it and feta and a delicious Greek dressing with, um, olive oil, very high grade of olive oil. Um, and then a delicious vinegar to go with it too. Number 24, grilled, um, fish with vegetables. I mentioned that earlier, but you could do it with, again, if you wanted to pan fry it or oven bake it versus grilling it, that is another option because you can take these proteins and do them a different way. Number 25 is pork chops with vegetables on our meal delivery system. I will link that down in the description link below. They have the most amazing pork chops with vegetables. And then I don't have to think. I don't have to think about the spices because you can make pork chops a ton of different ways like a ton. I've learned. I didn't know this. Again, I'm like a mom and I should have preference. Like I'm a mom. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a wife. I got a high busy schedule probably like you do. And so like having something fast and easy, these are fast and easy ideas. Number 26 is just ham. I mentioned earlier, honey baked ham. You can just do regular old ham or a regular old turkey that you roast. That would be a great thing that you can do. And then eat off of that. You can make soups with it and then freeze the leftover meat for later on. Number 27 is take out Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle takeout. We get it at least once a week. That is on our that is on our rotation. We love we love us some Chipotle takeout. So link down below are going to be my free Manjaro weight loss success checklists for you. My free Manjaro group. I have a paid group and, and, and um, a free group. All are welcome at both tables. I also have a 125 protein ideas blog for you that I'll link down in the description link below. But your question of the day here at Countess of Shopping, we do something like Marvel Easter eggs where I tell you an emoji and then you put it in the comments. And that's how I know who stays till the end of the videos. It's a really helpful way of me getting to know you better. You guys get to know me, but for me to get to know you in the comments. And so our emoji today is going to be a fish. Put a fish down below and then I'll know that you made it this far in the video and that you watched the whole thing. It's one of my favorite things. Literally every time people put comments down, um, I do read all the comments, by the way. I may not answer all the comments, but I do read all of them. Um, when someone puts like the fish, if you put it, I will pray over you. I will send you positive energy and I'll just send you great vibes um, while I'm thinking about you and, and thank you for being here with me on this amazing 57 pound Manjaro weight loss journey. I have a hundred pound goal. So you'll want to hit that follow button so you can see how that goes. And also for more encouragement um, for me, uh, sharing my experience, strength and hope with you on my weight loss journey, my Manjaro weight loss journey. But it's so applicable if you're doing semi-glutide or terazepatide or ozempic or Wegovy. Um, and I know someone's going to say this and I'm going to say it now. I know Wegovy is the weight loss one. It's the exact same thing. If you're taking Ozempic, it's the exact same thing as Wegovy. One's just Wegovy's for weight loss. Ozempic is for diabetes, but people lose weight on Ozempic. And that's what the media is calling it. So that's what people for Wegovy. So I'm going to use the vernacular in which people are know, even though that's not technically accurate because Ozempic is not meant for weight loss. It is meant for type two diabetics. So 
those are my meal plans for you. I want to see the fishies down below, the emojis. And if you have any other questions too, what should I do for the next video? I was thinking about this and I, I, I want to do, I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day, but tell me, do you have questions? Should I do a whole Q and A video? Tell me also, that's my other question for you too. Tell me in the comments below, should I do a different times? And excuse my set, I will link down below my latest. I just did an Amazon deal of the day show. Uh, if you watch this in the time frame that the deals are still active, um, I will link that down for you. Miles, that was, the count was just messaging me. So I think that that's my time to go. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. Love you. Mean it.